what I was crazy? Yeah, all right. Actually, Pan Am did that in the 90s. They were like, yeah, but by the year 2000, we're going to be in space, and Pan Am is going to be flying people to space. So, yeah, this is in the early 90s. They started selling tickets to space, and then Pan Am went under a little while later. Uh, this is a song about jerking off in space. This is a song about how irking it is if that come girl just won't hit her face. No matter how hard you try. Well, you can push her into it, or you can just, you know, just like splurt and then just like kind of push it. You know? <laughs> you just have to get her face up there and just be like, oh yeah. Slow motion. You bring up a couple lesbians. A come shot in between them. Oh, yeah. He's gonna take a lot to give a palm. You can do that, <laughs> or you can do an interior, an, uh, an outer space game of snowball. <laughs> you know, you, you, you're like floating up here, you know, she's, you know, jerking it off, it just bloop, and she just floats up and uh, grabs it on her tongue and floats down to the other chick and just, uh, just all no gravity. Why haven't they showed a porno in outer space yet? Because there's no women out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? Okay, because we're recording this, and if anyone listens to this in posterity, why is there no porno in outer space? Like, come on, this is a billion dollar industry. Like, come on, we got, we got people going to Mars. Chris Hadfield who thinks he's a rock star, rocking fucking space oddity in outer space, you know, why can't you get people out there on the International Space Station just banging, you know, space porn. It would become space boning, it would come in six parts, it would be a Star Wars pair, but a point on the <laughs> Jarba the Snut, <laughs> and, uh, you know, good old Han, Han Solo, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, he, uh, he, he does, he does solo scenes, you know, for the ladies, you know, because, I mean, you know, guys don't just watch porn, right, you know, a girl, you know, might want to slap on, you know, some porno and just be sitting there just playing the old pink guitar, you know, and, you know, what does she see but two people getting it on, you know, two two girls getting it on, a guy and a girl getting it on, six guys giving it to one girl. You know, all she wants to see is one dude just sitting there slapping it, you know? At the speed of light, and you blow a load. That load is gonna go back in time. <laughs> like seriously, it's well, it's gonna go back in time, or it's gonna go forward in time. It's gonna go somewhere in time because it's already traveling at the speed of light, and then it comes out of your wiener, already traveling at the speed of light, and then just adds to it. It's got it anyway, right? Yeah. You think. car on a train thing, which I'm sure you probably have heard something about. Mm -hmm. Einstein's been around forever. <laughs> it's just... Oh man, in that manliness book, it's talking about Einstein being a chick man. I think it was in that one. No, it was in that other one that Chris was doing. It's like the untextbook or something like that, or the detextbook, and it's like, yeah. Fact, Einstein was a chick magnet. It's true, he was married and had a kid, and then, you know, was like, yeah, I don't really like you anymore. 
I mean, there's my cousin. <laughs> Literally. Who's on ancient aliens was like, man, I'm gonna use Einstein as my quaffed uh, inspiration. And I'm not sure if that's French at all, but uh, quaffed inspiration, yeah. Is that the quaffed, guy who looks yeah. like you walk into a wind tunnel? Yeah, yeah, that guy. Giorgio Salakis. Yeah, whatever. some sort of Italian. Greek. Ah, uh, whatever. phone booth time machine. I think what we actually need is some sort of musical instrument time machine or room keys. 